Hello guys and girls, I hope you're having a good day today. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new LS26 light machine gun for the support class in Battlefield 5. This is this week's Tides of War chapter unlock reward. Now, as usual, to unlock it, you're going to have to work your way through a few different assignments in that Tides of War tree, but what you'll be pleased to know is that there isn't a massive focus on one particular game mode. The challenges are instead all about just playing the objective, helping out your teammates, and in general, they're just quite passive. If this were the regular setup for Tides of War moving forwards, that would be quite awesome, because I think some people just don't like playing game modes that they don't like playing, and they don't like being forced to play it in order to unlock something new. But since Battlefield 5 does make use of limited time game modes and other things, I wouldn't be surprised to see those heavily integrated again moving forwards. But at least this week, we've got something nice and general, so you can kind of play how you want in order to get this new gun. But just quickly, before we continue and I show you how to unlock this thing, this video today is sponsored by Elgato and their line of streaming and recording gizmos. For streaming, their Stream Deck just helps simplify a bunch of actions like changing scenes, playing audio clips and so many other things. And when recording, their HD60S, that saves high quality footage straight to your PC or laptop so you can share those awesome Battlefield moments that happen to you during matches. This month, I'm running a giveaway for one of their stream decks over on Twitter, so if you want to go and enter that, then there is a link in the description for you. Or if you just want to learn more about their products in general, there's a link at the top of the description that takes you over to their product pages. Okay then, so how do you get your hands on this brand new light machine gun? Well, here's the assignment tree for this week, and you'll be pleased to know again that you'll need to complete just five different challenges to get your hands on the gun, and trust me, it really won't take you very long. Firstly, you need to complete Lockdown, capturing just two objectives. Since, as I said, this doesn't specify a game mode, you can do this anywhere in Battlefield 5, but Squad Conquest returning permanently as a game mode now, that's the best place I think that you can do it. You can pretty much grab your gimme flag at the start of the round, run to the middle and grab that one as well, and you've done the first assignment. A separate branch off of that is a Firestorm specific challenge, but it's one of the optional ones, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. That one is called a Valkyrie, and you need to down, kill, or driver assist one enemy while seated in the helicopter in the Firestorm game mode. This is going to give you an extra 10,000 chapter XP if you complete it, so if you're a fan of Firestorm, maybe try using the helicopter with your squad and see if you can get a kill or something. Next, the tree splits into two different branches. The top path asks you to complete pulling your weight scoring 1,500 points in a round, and then Naked Force, dealing 2,000 damage with Assault Primary Weapons. The bottom path, or I should say the middle path, because there is another one further along the tree, that has two different completion routes. But first, you have to complete Fighting for a Cause, where you need to kill, down, or squad assist 10 enemies whilst attacking objectives. Then from here, you can either carry on through the middle of the tree, or you can drop down lower to the very bottom level. Through the middle, you need to complete Tank Repairman, repairing teammates' vehicles for 150 health, and then Lead Farmer, where you need to kill, down, or suppression assist 20 enemies using an LMG or an MMG. The very bottom path, that asks you to complete one for all by reviving squad mates or be revived by squad mates 20 times and then tow the line, complete five squad orders. The tree then comes back to just one single branch to finish off and the challenge you have to complete is zero sum game. Here you need to kill down enemies or revive teammates 40 times. And there is a final branch off assignment here, another optional assignment. This one is called New Noisy Toy and it asks you to net 30 kills or suppresses with the brand new LS26 that you just unlocked. This again, like the Firestorm assignment, that's going to grant you an extra 10,000 chapter XP. Now, as I said before I read out all of the assignments, arguably this week is the easiest set of weekly challenges that we've had so far. And although in a previous video, I think back in like late November, early December, something like that, I said that some of these assignments should be a bit harder for players like me who play this game a lot more often and want that kind of challenge, 
I don't really mind that it's that simple anymore. I've kind of moved past that gripe now. I've actually moved on to trying to unlock as many of the mint and gold gun skins through the proper assignment system, and those are much harder to complete, and they're definitely keeping me occupied for the time being. So with these Tides of War unlocks only happening once a week, if they're really easy, I don't really care anymore. This week it took me less than two hours to unlock the new gun. I think it was only about an hour and 20 minutes really. And after I got my hands on it, I actually discovered just how good of a gun this thing really is. The LS26, oddly, it reminds me of the BAR from Battlefield 1. It's got that same kind of boxy look to it. It's got a middling rate of fire. It's got a nice punchy firing sound. And in general, it's got extremely controllable recoil. 600 rounds a minute is the one and only fire rate that this light machine gun possesses. You can't upgrade it with specializations here. And that doesn't really sound very impressive. And then you realize that you're completely locked into using 20 round box magazines as well. So on the face of things, it doesn't sound like that great of a weapon, but actually in my testing so far, things work out pretty well for the LS26. Any faster rate of fire and you'd be missing quite a lot of shots left and right at longer ranges and you just don't have the rounds to back up bad aim with this thing. Instead, what you can rely on is relatively manageable recoil at short to medium range and that's where the LS26 excels in my opinion. In real life, the LS26 was compatible with a much larger drum magazine, and that would have been a really neat upgrade had DICE chosen to add it into the specialization tree, but they didn't. So as it stands, the LS26 is one of those total opposite weapons that's been added to the game after the launch that then sort of trades off with a weapon that was in the game at the launch. This weapon sits as far away as possible from the FG42, but I think they're directly competing against each other. And it just so happens that the FG42 is my favorite gun in Battlefield 5 right now. The 20 round box magazine limitation here, especially with people knowing the existence of a larger drum magazine for this weapon, has caused a bit of an issue for some players whether they like this weapon or not based on that fact because DICE isn't giving players the option to extend the magazine capacity. 20 rounds isn't a lot as I've mentioned and having more rounds behind you when trying to take down players is obviously quite helpful if you miss a few off target here and there. And that same situation, that can be said for the FG42. Again, that only comes with a 20 round box magazine. And if it had an extended mag, maybe up to 30 or a 40 round box magazine, it would be even better. But what you are stuck with instead is an extremely capable weapon in the FG42, one that fires extremely fast and it can just rip through people, but you can't realize that massive potential because you're stopped at just 20 rounds before you have to reload, so you can't just go on some insane rampage. And I think that is purely to balance the weapon effectively, and again, that's why I think that DICE hasn't added a drum magazine option to the LS26. With this new weapon, you don't have the attractive rate of fire of the FG42, but what you do have is an extremely controllable recoil pattern, even before you start applying specializations. And that means if you're on target with your first shot, you can easily take down two players per magazine with it. And then once you do look into the specializations, you're going to find options between reducing the recoil even further and turning the thing into a laser beam or boosting its hip fire capabilities, making it an even more aggressive weapon. Either option is perfectly valid here and it really just depends on how close you like to be to your enemy before you kill them, but I went with reducing recoil, flattening the spray to give me a better chance at landing kills in the mid-range. The LS26 is really being pitched as a direct competitor to the FG42 as far as I can tell, and you get that massively reduced recoil to start with, and so making that even better for me is going to make sure at the mid-range I'm landing as many shots as possible. You've also got an integrated bipod as well, but if I'm honest, I haven't really used it that much so far because this weapon isn't really built for that kind of campy playstyle. I'm trying to stay away from that as much as possible, as much as I can in Battlefield 5 as it is already. 
At longer ranges, the LS-26 does suffer quite a bit with the massively reduced bullet damage, and you're looking at 5 to 6 bullets to kill at long range. And with such a small amount of rounds per magazine, if you do start peppering some distant sniper, then the chances are that you're going to be reloading before you've even begun to bother them. You'll also find, even if you choose to bolster its hipfire capabilities, that you're going to be beaten more often than not by medics wielding their submachine guns. The deploy time of all of the support class and light machine guns and medium machine guns is just that little bit longer than the SMGs, and so when somebody pops around the corner and surprises you, you shouldn't expect to win that gunfight. In many respects, the LS-26 isn't anything that special at all, but it does offer you a very different style of weapon compared to what's already on offer in the support class, and that for me makes it a weapon worth using. I'm going to rank it up and I'm going to get familiar with it. Also, just for unlocking it, you do go through a bunch of assignments that grant you a lot of chapter XP, and that goes towards all those cosmetic rewards in the Tides of War chapter rewards list. So. Really, you've got no excuse not to give this one a whirl. So, there you are, the new LS-26 in Battlefield 5. For me, it is definitely worth the unlock, and I will be working it up to rank 10 and probably beyond, so I can get those mint and gold gun skins for the extra challenge. But let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Is this a weapon for you, or are you waiting for something else? A massive thank you for watching today, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.